everyone, this is Maki. The excitement around the movie Gundam Seed Freedom continues. It has been released worldwide and various events such as popularity polls have been held. After Kagoe Yuat had won first place in the character category, director Mitsuo Fukuto asked fans what they liked about Kagoe. He said that I will continue to nurture Kagoe responsibly while respecting the feelings of screenwriter Ms. Morozawa. Her relationship with Asran is good at the moment. However, she will be busy again due to the post-war processing with the Foundation Kingdom. Fans are hoping for the production of a new story. Mr. Fukuda's remarks indicate a desire to focus future work on Asran and Kagali. Of course, it's important to remember that no concrete details have been announced yet. Some time ago, Mr. Fukuda released a photo that appeared to be preparations related to the Freedom Hijacking incident. Also to Shihiko Sahashi, the composer for the Seed series, posted about attending a meeting on his ex. It's unclear if this photo is related to the Seed series, but the presence of high-end Gundam figures suggests that it's probably related to a Gundam series meeting. It's hard to imagine these figures being displayed at a non-related company. Today I'd like to talk about the new works in the Gundam series. What kind of creations will come out of this? Let's analyze it based on the information we have so far. An emergency has occurred. The extremist organization Humanist has attacked the city where you live. I am appointing you as a temporary Gundam Meister. Please press the subscribe button to activate Gundam Exia Repair 4. I pray that you have the blessing of the Virgo. Let's focus on UC Next 100 first. It's a project that aims to represent a new era in the Universal Century series. Officially released images show the planned productions framed in red. These images date back to when Gundam Narrative was officially announced. Hathaway's Fresh and Gundam Unicorn 2 are mentioned. Hathaway's Fresh is planned as a trilogy, and about three years have passed since the release of the first movie, with no news on the sequels. The delays are likely due to coronavirus-related restrictions. Though we'll discuss this in more detail later, it's worth noting that key animation staff often have schedules set for years Seiji Mizushima, the director of Gundam 00, commented in 2020 that if a new production were to be made, it would be around 2027. The staff of Hathaway's Rush might be involved in other productions at the moment. It looks like we'll just have to wait patiently. By the way, the Gundam Seed movie was finally released after about 20 years. Fans were deeply moved and exclaimed we waited 20 years. In 0083, Anel Gado shouted angrily I waited 3 years. Among fans, there is a half-joking saying. Did Gado fire his bazooka because he couldn't wait more than 3 years? Let's go back to UC Next 100. What about Gunnam? Unicorn 2. It was announced that it will be released via internet streaming. Anything come to mind? A production called Requiem for Vengeance will be released on an internet streaming service called Netflix. Gundam Unicorn 2 is described in this image as being scheduled for release in 2022. It's possible that the production plans have been changed significantly, keeping only the internet streaming aspect and changing it to Requiem for Vengeance. It's a bit disappointing that this would deviate from the intention of representing a new era in the Universal Century series. 
Of course, this is just my speculation. Requiem for Vengeance and Unicorn 2 could still be released as separate productions. It's time for some new information. Another upcoming work is a new installment of Gunnam 00. At the event celebrating the 10th anniversary of the 00 series, director Seiji Mizushima announced we are going to make a new production. However, the next day he said we will make the new production. First, we have to adjust the schedule. So the release will be quite far away. Since my schedule for the next few years is already set, I cannot start production immediately. It is interesting that products like Metal Robot Spirits have already been released. Gundam Exia Repair 4, piloted by the resurrected Gundam Meister Braha Maker, and Gundam Dynamics Repair 3, piloted by Tyria's successor Atisha Adi, are on sale. Their adventures were revealed through a wedding drama. It depicts the era after the movie Awakening of the Trailblazer, where humanity has reconciled with another species, the elves. However, it depicts the conflict between a group of humans who are dissatisfied with coexisting with the elves, known as humanist, and the celestial being. It is unclear whether the new production will follow the same storyline as the drama. Since the writing drama was released during the 10th anniversary event, many fans are unaware of its content. Since Ixia Repair 4 and Dynamics Repair 3 have already been released, it is likely that Sunrise wants to make many fans aware of their existence. Considering the content that was released during the wedding drama, it's possible that the new Ani could contain new elements. Of course, please keep in mind that this is just my personal speculation. Recently, it was announced that Wolf's Hunt, originally created as a game under Iron Brothered Orphans, has begun production as an Ani. New information regarding this work has not yet been released. I hope that official announcements about new works will be made soon. Are there any works you are looking forward to? If so, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching to the end. Let's meet again in the next episode.